This is how I feed my chickens every day or every other day. Um, I just got plain, simple stainless pans. Um, I like to give them a high protein diet. They love these uh, soldier black larvae. Black soldier larvae. Um, this is chick grit. It's smaller than regular grit because they're still so small. Um, I just pour a little bit of whatever I feel like. I like to mix it with my hands. Uh, you can just wash your hands with some water. Here I give them some scratch. It has corn and grains. They love that stuff. Um, I don't really feed it to my quail. Maybe like one scoop, but I know they probably have a hard time maybe eating that corn. Um, but I mix both the quail and chicken feed the same exact way. Um, and then I also have, I call the chicken juice. Uh, this is anything you can find at Tractor Supply online. It's those omega fatty acids and vitamins. And I read on the label that it helps with their feathers and just keeping them with, you know, good energy, good vibes. So I was like, you know what, this is awesome. It does tell you directions on how to pour it with like a whole pound of food. I just, you know, take a tablespoon sometimes and just kind of mix it in with their little treats at the bottom. So you'll notice that I mix up the treats very well with my hands um, and then I let the dogs, you know, lick my hands. So they love that stuff. My dogs will actually come in there and eat that stuff. And then on the very top, I like to put the treats on the bottom. At the very top, I give them a higher protein um, diet because um, they're growing. I want their feathers to be beautiful. So I put that on top because if I put all the treats on top, they'll just, you know, totally not want to eat that good food just like kids. They're just like kids. Um, so that's why sometimes I actually will uh, skip a day of their meal. I'll kind of just glance over at their food pan and like, oh no, they got plenty of grain there. I'm not about to feed them anymore. And it actually I found helps with um, their food waste. And here, this is just dried <laughs> mint from our garden. I just dried it, chopped it up. So it looks like parsley, it's fancy dinner. Um, and now I'm just call calling the chicks. And I have to be careful and place the pan uh, because some chicks do get underneath it and they also trap their little legs under there and can get hurt. So I have to handle all of their weight. Imagine all of that all of the chickens on top of that pan just trying to put it down um, and then I kind of just sprinkle some on the ground and maybe try to entice some of them to come out of the pan and maybe give the other guys a little bit of room to grab some. Um, here it's later in the evening and I am just feeding them a little bit. I noticed their pan was a little bit bare today and I wanted to have some full bellies before they go to bed. Um, it's also getting colder here, so I figured they might, just like kids, sleep better with a fuller belly. And pretty much they're my chickens and I'm just going to do what I want. So